Good evening, I'm Carolyn Patrikas. Thanks for joining us tonight. You're watching News Center One at 10. Over the weekend, a group of longtime friends coming together to help a former Stevens High School football star who was battling against a severe life threatening brain disorder. Mitch Simmons was an all state running back who helped Stevens High School football win their only state title in 1998. Mitch has recently been diagnosed with ATN, which some say causes the most most severe chronic pain known in medical practice. In a 24 hour period, a group of his five best friends gathered to battle through the pain of their own for a cause. Yesterday, some ran a 50 mile race, and today, the rest were tased by Mitch himself, all to support his continuous battle and mounting medical bills. Called atypical trigeminal neuralgia or ATN. Uh, he's been suffering with it for a couple years now. Um, so we're out here to raise money for him. Our little Part of showing uh, the pain that he goes through is I ran a 50 mile race yesterday in the Black Hills, and today uh, part of our group of friends, three of them, are being literally tased uh, for. Uh, to raise money for Mitch. I said, why don't we try tasing ourselves? And they said, that's a good idea, but nobody's else is going to do it. So I said, well, we'll just tase ourselves and try to raise as much money as possible. And we came up with the taser electrical because the, the pain that Mitch, Mitch feels with his uh, with ATN, he has electrical shocks that go out through his, his head and upper body. So that's kind of the tie-in with taser. Friends of Mitch say it was shockingly a good time and are just trying to help alleviate any stress for Mitch. In addition, they're helping raise $25,000 and say they're currently at $13,000. If you'd like to help Mitch for more information, you can visit our website at newscenter1.tv. Lifelong pals endure the pain that one of their best friends feels every day, all to raise money for charity. You won't want to miss this. So what would you do for your best friends? Some took it to the next level today by getting tased to raise awareness for ATN or atypical trigeminal neuralgia. Three, two, one. Several of Mitch Simmons, Simmons' closest friends took the five seconds of pain today to shed light on the fact that people with ATN, such as Mitch, have the experience some of the most excruciating pain known to humanity on a daily basis. The participants said the pain was worth it to help raise money for their longtime friend. I thought it wasn't going to end at all, but you know what? It's, it's the cause that, that, that matters, and it makes you realize what, what, uh, what Mitch is going through. I'd do it for 20 seconds for Mitch, and five seconds seemed like eternity. But, you know, when you're done, it's worth it. Mitch's friends were able to raise nearly $16,000 over the weekend through the actions of a GoFundMe page collecting pledges for someone who ran in the Black Hills 100 and today's tasing event. A taser can send up to 50,000 volts of shocking pain to the body, but it was a small price to pay for a group of guys who went through that pain to raise money for their friend. Black Hills Fox reporter Robert Grant tells us why. Oh, yeah. Imagine the excruciating pain of getting tased. It was way, way worse than I thought it was going to be. I, it literally, that electricity through your body like that um, is, is absolutely horrible. I thought it wasn't going to end. But that's nothing compared to a lifetime living with atypical trigeminal neuralgia, a rare brain disorder that sends severe electrical shocks through your face. It's the disease Mitch Simmons battles every day. It's also the reason his friends went through the pain of getting tased to raise money and awareness. You know, if he can get it done um, every day of his life, then I can do it for five seconds. Simmons was a running back at Stevens High School in Rapid City, and he ended up getting his Doctor of Education at Arizona State University. But the father of three was then struck with this severe disease and can no longer work. Fortunately, his friends and family get him through. The, the constant pain seems to, uh, I seem to be able to handle it a little bit better because my spirits are up more. We make each other laugh. And, uh, and there's a lot to that, that saying, laughter is the best medicine. Today, Simmons' friends raised a few thousand dollars towards their goal of 25000 which made the few seconds of pain worth it. I'd do it for 20 seconds for Mitch, and five seconds seemed like eternity. But, you know, when you're done, it's worth it. Simmons says everything they've already accomplished shows the good people can do. You know, there's a lot of great people here in South Dakota, and I uh, hope to move back one day. A GoFundMe page with nearly $13,000 in donations is set up in Simmons' honor. If you want to contribute, you can log on to GoFundMe.com slash Mitch Simmons. For Black Hills Fox News, I'm Robert Grant.